All right. Um, I want to talk about this um, as an independent voter. You know, I do vote Republican. I do vote Democrat. You know, my politics is, you know, moderate. Derek uh, Chauvin, if I had said the last name correctly, has been found guilty on all counts in the murder of George Floyd. And I'm going to say it. George Floyd, justice was served for him today. Because there was never any doubt as to this guy's guilt. Everybody knew that this guy was guilty. I mean, we all saw the video footage during this trial. But any time when you have a jury, you know, of 12 individuals, you do get nervous about it. And I will say this because, you know, I did cover the criminal justice system. I actually did major in criminal justice before I did get into meteorology. Anytime you do jury deliberations, the shorter the jury deliberations, the much better of a guilty verdict. Now, there have been instances where... Um, You've had these short deliberations and the person has been found out guilty. Casey Anthony, um, because I did cover that case a long time ago. You know, I was blogging about that case. But with this guilty verdict, something just changed in this country. And I think this is the start of a new uh, era when it comes to law enforcement because if you're a police officer whether you're a, a male or female and we saw this what happened just recently the kim um potter case which is going to be the new case that everyone's going to be talking about within a year if you murder a black person you're basically going to lose your entire life over it I mean, you're going to lose your family. You're going to lose everything that you worked for. A house, a car, and basically your job. And we're just entering into this new era. Now, this is a first step in what is going to be a long and painful series of steps towards justice. And now you have to be like, okay... What about the people that killed Breonna Taylor? The people that killed Ahmaud Aubrey, Or the recent case that I just talked about. And while the killer of George Floyd, you know, you're basically, you're in prison for the rest of your life now. You're basically going to rot in prison for the rest of your life. People are celebrating. Yeah, and I want you all to celebrate George Floyd's life. I mean, his legacy. Because his legacy is going to live on forever. But you also have to realize that George Floyd is still dead. And there is a lot of work to do. But today, this is a historic day in America. And I'm not going to say because justice was served in this one instance. But I really think that this verdict set it a precedent of what is going to be happening in the future when it comes to law enforcement murdering an African-American. I really believe that America became more of just a society today. So that's just my two cents on this, guys. I know I wasn't going to talk about it, but I figured that there is going to be people in the YouTube community talking about it and especially with the impact that it had in sports you know with the the Black Lives Matter um you know sports basically just paused because of what was happening with racial injustice and you know like I said this is a long way to go with racial injustice I believe the fight is still going to continue. 
So um, that's all I got to say on it. My two cents on it. I'm out. Peace.